Forking. When you execute a program on a Linux system, the bash or burn again shell forking function launches a new shell in which your program is executed. The parent shell then implements its wait function to wait for the child process to finish. When run in the foreground, this causes the cursor to stop blinking and the terminal does not respond until the child process finishes. Once the child process finishes, it calls its kill function to kill itself and returns control to the parent shell. This default behavior is implemented for every foreground process. An exception to this procedure, when a parent shell spawns a background process, it does not invoke its wait function or enter a wait state. It allows the child process to run in the background and immediately gives control back to the parent. To review and summarize, for a foreground process, the parent waits for the child process to finish and kill itself before returning control of the terminal to the user. For a background process, the parent launches the process in the background and immediately returns control of the terminal to the user. It does not enter a wait state, so the child process continues to run in the background until it kills itself. The BG command. The BG command moves foreground processes to the background. To do this, you must first pause the process with Control and Z. When you do this, it will stop the process and give you a job number. Prefix this job number with the percent symbol after the BG command. Example, BG% 1 would launch that particular job ID process in the background. The jobs command. The jobs command will list all the processes currently running in the background and give you their job IDs. The FG command. The FG command moves background processes to the foreground. You will need to get the job ID of the process with the jobs command. Then prefix the job ID with the percent symbol after the FG command. Example, FG% 1 would move that job ID process to the foreground. Next, let's look at starting processes in the foreground and background and going back and forth between them and using the jobs command for listing processes running in the background. Now to do this, I'm first going to make um, just two very simple um, bash shell script files. So we'll call the first one foo1 and I'm just going to do, um, I'll use the ping command www.yahoo.com will ping yahoo and I'm going to redirect it to a file that we'll call result1. Okay. And I'm just going to say Y for yes and yes. And the next thing I'm going to do is foo2. And I'm just going to use the ping command again. And I'm going to ping Google. Google.com. And I'm going to redirect that to a file called result2. Okay. And we'll save the file. So now I have these two files. And I simply need to make the text files. I, I want to redirect it to a text file because I, I don't want it coming to the console. I want you to be able to see the output and I don't want it constantly sending the echo replace to the console. So sudo touch and I'm going to do result1 and I'm going to do sudo touch result2 and I simply need to chmod my files so they're writable and executable um, for the situations under which they apply. So sudo chmod, I'm going to set the permission um, I'll do 755 on my foos and I'll do 777 um, on my results. Alright, just so that makes them executable and that way my result files are writable. And normally if I were to launch it, let's say that I'm going to launch foo, I'll do foo1. And if I do that, notice how the cursor is, you know, it's not, uh, control of the console or the terminal is not returned to me. It's waiting for the program to finish, in which case it never will. It's, it's infinitely pinging or flood pinging Yahoo. Let's not be rude to Yahoo, so I'm going to stop that. Control C. So we'll send a kill with the signal level of 2. But if I were to cat the result file, remember we were pi uh, re redirecting it to this file here, result 1. So cat result 1, notice in this case 18 packets transmitted, 18 received. So here's where all my echo replies went. So it was, you know, it was running and I didn't have control of the cursor because by default it was running in the foreground. This time we're going to run it in the background. Alright, so and alright, so 
Again, we have all, all our permissions there. And by default, that was in the foreground. If I want to launch something in the background, I just do Control Z to pause it or stop it. And then I, instead of the PID, the process ID, I need to get the job ID. And so we'll do that. So I'm going to go ahead and launch Foo 1 again. So here's Foo 1. And if I do that, notice it's running the ping command. So if I were to open up another terminal and grep for the ping command, you'd be able to actually see it running there. Even though, the, even though on this terminal the cursor is not returning to me, blinking, if I did uh, PS AUX and let me grep for ping, notice there's the process ID. I'm pinging Yahoo. You can even see who I'm pinging there. It's 30, process 3670. So that's the script here that I'm running, this foo, and I don't have control yet. So I'm going to do control Z, which will pause it. So it pauses it, and now that it's paused, I have a job ID. And if I were to cat result one, you know, here's here's the results here of all those pings. It was redirected to that file, but it's a paused process. Um, so one now, whenever I run something in the background, I always prefix it with a percent. You have to do that. So you would use the bg command. And if I want to restart the foo one script, then I know that the job ID is one, so it's just going to be percent and one. And if I do that. Now, it knows that it's going to be running the foo one script, and it, it's sitting there, it's running in the background, but I have control, you know, control is given back to me of the terminal or the console. So I can do other things. Um, at any given moment, that file is going to be changing. If I cat it, because it's constantly writing echo replies to it. Um, all right, so it's sitting there running in the background, now I have control of it. Let's say that I, I want to stop it or you know do something else with it. I can bring it back to the foreground. I, I send it to the background with the BG command and the job ID. Well, I can bring it to the foreground with the FG command. And to do that, I could do jobs. Excuse me, uh, jobs with an S. And again, you know, where I forget it, not the PID, the process ID, but that's the job ID. And to bring it to the foreground, I would just do FG percent. Um, let me pass on the percent symbol and. Alright, so now, again, I, I don't have control of the terminal, the cursor is sitting there and it's blinking, but if I were to do control C, that would actually stop it. Okay, and if I were to stop the ping command, let me look at the results. So I'm going to go to that file there, I'm going to cat result 1. 102 packets transmitted, 102 received, 0% packet loss. So you know, it finished the command and it redirected and wrote the results to result 1 the way I wanted it to. Um, now let's say that I wanted to start two processes and put them in the background. I could do that, right? So what I would do is I start the first process, foo1. Um, I'm going to pause it, control Z, that'll give me the job number. And I'm going to start, um, you know, I can start the next process if I wanted to. But I'm going to go ahead and put that in the background right now, foo1. So bg, and I'm going to use the percent symbol and the job ID in this case one so that launches that and puts that in the background and if I use the jobs command notice it tells me that that process is, is running so while that's going on I can launch another process I'm gonna do foo2 so foo2 and we'll launch foo2 I'm gonna do control Z and notice when I do that you know in this case the job ID is two and I'm going to go ahead and put that in the background. So BG and the percent symbol and two. And that would launch that in the background. And now if I use the jobs command, look at the output. They're both running foo1 and foo2. In this case, this has a job ID of one and a job ID of two. And if I want to stop them, I need to bring them back to the foreground. So I'd use the foreground command. So FG and I want to stop, let's stop the first job here. So I'm going to use the percent symbol and one bring that back to the foreground, I hit control C and stop it. All right, and then now if I use the jobs command, now I only have job number two running. So again, I can bring that to the foreground with the foreground command. Um, I want to use the percent symbol and two, and I'm just going to go ahead and stop it, control C. All right, and let's just make sure if I were to use PSAUX and grep for ping, we can see that that's not running anywhere in the background. So I've stopped both of those files, and if I want to look at the results, 
I'm look at result one. 49 packets transmitted and result two, 33 packets transmitted respectively in the background. So we know those processes were running in the background.